All right, so we have our wrinkles uh, mostly finished. Gonna add on to those later with some, uh, some detail alphas, but for right now we're gonna shift gears and we're gonna move over to the gel sacs again. Now the gel sacs, we're gonna use a very interesting technique in order to do them. I want it to look kind of like there are either veins or just small tendrils that are kind of crawling their way up these that attach to the main body and then form this kind of webbing pattern on the top. Sounds a little strange, I know, but just roll with me here for a second. So first let's focus on the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another alpha pack like I did with the, uh, the ship crane video, and it's called Reptile Scales. I'll link to this one in the uh, description of this video as well. And what it is, is a bunch of alphas that have to do with uh, scales. And it's pretty useful. And there's quite a lot to choose from here. So I'm going to choose, I think this one. Looks kind of veiny. And you can see the kind of impact that has. So I'll probably make this pretty big. Maybe not quite as strong though. Just something like that might uh, increase its rotation amplitude all the way, just so that it isn't always the, uh... all right, that did not work. There we go. Now it's rotating randomly. All right, and then to actually connect them to the base here, there's a few things we can do. First thing I'll do is I'll probably go to, probably go to my cracks and wrinkles alphas again. And I'm going to pick some pretty rough scratches, like maybe, I don't know, Maybe this one is, looks pretty good. And I'm going to rotate it so that those two prongs on the left are facing upwards. This can be a little tricky. There we go. Hmm. Not quite digging it. Try something else, a little different. There we go. I'll use some of these. Now, one thing you may notice is that as I'm clicking here, I'm affecting areas that are not directly attached to these uh, gel sacs. So what I need to do is I need to freeze that particular area. So I can go here to the freeze tool and I can paint these areas out. Now what that means is that any brush I use from this point forward will no longer be able to affect the frozen area. So I'm going to paint all around the gel sacs real quick. All right, now I can start drawing and not have to worry about painting something that I shouldn't. Okay, so now I've got those details painted. I will deselect this. And now this is a really 
really cool part. This is actually one of the tools that honestly kind of sold me on 3D Coach to begin with, and that is the spikes tool. So with this, we're going to draw some sort of veins that are running up along the sides of these gel sacs. Or... All right, sorry, not the... Uh... not the spikes tool, the snake tool. The snake tool will actually follow along the surface. Oops. So you see that? But what we need to do is we need to change the profile. Much like the curves, we need to change this to be a spike. So then we can actually really make some some spikes that actually pop out from the surface a little bit. All right, I'm going to use a slightly different strategy. I've created a new voxel layer, and I'm going to draw the spikes and the veins on that, and then I will merge it later with the main body. That way, the, uh, the, the veins and the rest of the body will have similar polygon resolutions. And it's also a little bit faster to do. Okay, so now we have those done. Well, partially finished. 